Looks like a barber shop right there. You go shopping, I'll go to the barber shop. Right, well that's done. That's nice and short again. Harry's been done as well. 40 kuna each, which is £4.50 for a haircut. Amazing. Right, let's see how Lindsay's getting on at Lidl. Look at that. <laughs> What's the chance of that? Happy Harry. Okay, good timing. <laughs> so we have arrived at what was our favourite stop on our 2018 Adriatic tour, and that is Camp Vugek Plak. We've just had a lovely welcome by the owners, and they do remember us from back then as well. Um, so they're yeah, really, really nice. I'll show you around in good course, but look at that pool. We're parked right next to the pool, and the boys have jumped in already. It's still a little overcast, but it's, it's warm enough. So we've got a pitch set up. Hammocks up over here, table and benches here. Washing that Lindsay didn't get dry at the last place is hanging up here. And like I say, the boys having a dip in the pool. The weather is meant to get better tomorrow, so fingers crossed we'll get some sun and hopefully some 30 degree weather. You having fun? Yep. He really is a fish, that boy. And they're trying to play table tennis on that tiny table. <laughs> Can you join us for the World Table Tennis Championships? <laughs> oh! oh. Yeah, that's that is a well improvised table, guys. Well done. So there are another couple of vans here. And there's a couple over there. And Lynn, this is jumping on the Wi-Fi in here. And so is George. All right, guys? All right. All right. All right. So this will you come in. This is the original small part. Placements for five vans, six at a squeeze. And that's where we are, right next to the pool. Perfect spot. The Table Tennis World Championship's coming on. Awful. <laughs> well, this is exciting. <laughs> we're ditching the kids and we're going for a date. Whilst it's just a nice temperature today, we figured let's go and explore Zagreb. But the kids don't want to come, do they? They don't care. So they want to chill out here. So it's lovely and safe here. So we're going to leave the kids here and head into Zagreb. OK, we have the option of catching the bus right outside across the road um, and then switch into a tram. Well, that's going to take over an hour, and we're not really sure of the timetable. So we've taken the easier option, and we've ordered an Uber. Vladimir will be here in eight minutes. That's a bit of an easier option, isn't it? Right, fresh t-shirt on, and jeans on again today. Let's go and do this. I'm glad we didn't bring the van. Me too. It's just so much easier to jump in an Uber. Isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And we do have trouble parking it in Zagreb. There are two park ups, but I don't think either look particularly okay, shall we say. Safer to leave it back at the campsite. Well, we're here and we're kid free. Yes. <laughs> Last time we were here, it was over 35 degrees and it was very stressful walk walking, driving around looking for somewhere right, to park. Yeah, I did drive around in the van. Yeah. The streets. Don't and, they, fancy it this time. and the kids were dreading getting out and having to walk around in that heat and we just abandoned the plan and ended up at the lovely little campsite, literally by accident, wasn't right, it? Right, that's when we found it. Yeah. So, this will be fun. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. That's me. Okay, so we, <laughs> we've stumbled on some sort of art sit and meet and you scan a barcode and there's up to 10 of these around and it tells you about some great Croatian mines and this is the first one. Some say he discovered China but he only lived with the Mongols for 17 years apparently. This. Did I did turn, turn around? around right here. I know. And I took a photo in front of this. Yes. Now I'm really confused because in that photo I can clearly see the scaffolding covers. Um, and they're still there. But reading Wikipedia, one of those two spires was damaged in the 2020 earthquake. So I'm very confused. Must have been damaged before that as well. Yeah, I reckon I parked the van around here and got out and took this photo. I think you abandoned the van around here. I can't believe that is the second tallest building in the whole of Croatia. 
We've we missed the market. Have we it? missed market day? Haven't we? We would take a talk now. They'd tell us about the whole evolution of Yugoslavia and Croatia. Right. And they, really fascinating. I, I, it really does, yeah. So this is a square we've headed to. And how about your mate Nelson over there? Can't remember his name. <laughs> Off the beaten track. So we're not following a guide, which makes me sad because I want to hear the history. But look what we're finding. Well, we've just, so we've just clambered up all these steps and to this awesome view. Yeah. So rewarding, isn't it? It is. And your love lock fence in front. Well, I think this must be one of the most romantic views in Zagreb. That must be why the love locks are here. Okay, I'll give you that. Thank you. Tesla, because I know this history with Nikolai Tesla and Croatia and Zagreb. But in fact, there is a museum of Nikola Tesla in Zagreb. Hey, can we go and see that? No. Parts of St. Mark's Church date back to the 13th century. It was radically remodelled in the 14th century. But the roof, the tiles on the roof, represent the white of the castles on the red of the land which represents a flag. Another reason Steve loves Croatia is that Nikolai Tesla comes from Croatia and in 1892 he went into this building and proposed to the municipality that they build an electrical power station, alternating power thing. I don't know the details of what it said, it got a bit jumbled in translation, but he went in there and told them that he wanted to do that for the country. About a two minute walk up the hill from the, the, the Love Lock fence is the Museum of Broken Relationships. Now this isn't one I want to go in, I want to go and find the Museum of Hangovers that I've seen on the map. What goes up must come down. That's good. Look how cool it is, look at these. I noticed on some of the buildings they actually had gas lights still burning. And here's the tunnels we'll be looking for. It's not just a tunnel. Okay, in 1943, due to fear of being bombed by the Allies, the independent state of Croatia's Prime Minister, Nikola Mandic, ordered the creation of a public bomb shelter. It's not just a tunnel, this was a bomb shelter in the war. Let's go and take a look. So there are lots of these sub-tunnels going off this main one. And look, this opens up right here. And there's lots of art up here. I sent Lynn's in to order a few snacks. I think it was the order. <laughs> it's a little order. more, no, it's a little more than I expected, but fresh nachos are amazing. And all this was how much? 20 quid. How good are the nachos? They're so good, it's all really, really good. <laughs> but those nachos are amazing. <laughs> Best nachos you ever ate. Ever. <laughs> yeah, so, so good. But it's got, a, it's got a speak. Massively. Mm. Definitely. So good though. Martin Gatalvik, who was the Lucifer of geometry. Apparently. Found Tesla again. It's like the Nikolai Tesla Museum walking around the grub. Do you remember when Tesla cars first came onto the, the streets in Milton Keynes and around the UK? And there were more in Milton Keynes than there were anywhere. I think we've found the actual Tesla centre of the world. There are more Nikolai Teslas here than anywhere else. I love the buildings, the architecture here is gorgeous. Everywhere I look, all these buildings just... I love this architecture. It does look fantastic. This area around the National Theatre, which is absolutely stunning, is all about knowledge and skills. We've got a music faculty for the university, there's science faculties, there is a performing arts school. There is so much here, you can feel the knowledge and the skills just around you, and it's wonderful. It's been a great temperature to walk around and explore Zagreb, it's been really lovely. 
if you do come make sure you look up because there is so much to see there's carvings and sculptures there's so much to see on the top of the buildings it's absolutely beautiful what a great afternoon thank you my darling for bringing us for an afternoon trip you're welcome i'll enjoy it yeah me too good morning good morning are you fishing love i'm being poor girl <laughs> i think it's flying ants day so you're fishing all the flying ants out yeah Okay. I don't know if I'm saving them or not. <laughs> I think most of them are already dead. George, what are you doing? I um mum's hidden a bottle in the pool and I have to find it. Fun fact, bottles are pretty much invisible. Well clear ones, uh when they're underwater, so that's this is gonna be hard. Or not. Uh, you got it. <laughs> you looked at it. <laughs> We've got two hammocks up now. George is wriggling around in this one. All right, George? Uh, hey. And Eddie's chilling out in this one. <laughs> Eddie's an expert in the hammock from when he was in Malaysia. Okay, for lunch today, we've got some spicy sausages and some normal sausages. I say normal sausages, normal European sausages. Um, they don't do sausages like we do. They do, it's like a, a shaped mince, but they're lovely. They really are. There, they fit like a glove. Why use two pens when one will do the job? These sausages are coming along a tree. Is there a more perfect pitch than this? Cooking, pull, perfecto. Right, that sausage is done, cooked, but we're gonna eat inside today because there's a lot of flies out here. We are in the middle of the countryside. And it's flying ant day. And it's flying ant day. Definitely flying ant day. The air is thick with randy ants. <laughs> as, as the pool is, Lynn's been fishing them out the pool. <laughs> I know, there's <laughs> a lot of randy ants in the air. So, Looking sausages, to... let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, you've laid the table out already. Oh. The sausage, Judge. Lunchtime beer. Ching, cheers. Ching. This place really is beautiful. All right, let me show you this place. Our pictures here, got a big table and chairs here. We've got a couple of hammocks out. There's the octopus drying the trunks. Another hammock out here. Of course, our cooker's out here. And a couple of chairs. Lindsay yeah. <laughs> has just been fishing a few flies out the lovely pool. It's, it's been flying ant day. We may have mentioned it a few times already. Um, and at one point the pool was, uh, was thick and slick with dead bodies. But I'll say something, the uh, filters are really efficient, there's none left. Right. And the pool looks really inviting again now, so. But look at that, pitch here, pool here. <laughs> hey, show them around. Show them around. This is where I've set my office up for the day. Right, this has been working here. Now this is something that we could have done with at the last site when the weather was so awful. Just somewhere out of the van to come and sit. And you can use this lovely chill area here. Yeah. So the property here, um, the owners have got their own little holiday place, which they use, and then they built an extension to it that is open and can be shared with anybody who's here. Up to 15 vans. Up to 15 vans, yes. Got Wi-Fi? Actually, last time we were here, there were just five vans. Yeah, they made it bigger. Cold, Cold beer. beers. <laughs> Cheapest we've seen since hitting Croatia. Just two euros. Right. And they are cold, 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 cold. Facilities here. Couple of sinks. And some outside washing up. And you've got some lovely facilities. Look at that. That's really nice. And the showers. It's got two showers in here. There you go. So he was telling us our, his plans for this in the coming years. He wants to buy a bit more land and he wants to move the camping away from the pool area, make the pool a little bit larger and turn that whole area around the pool where we're camped into more of a chill out zone. And then the camping will be all in this area down toward the main road. Right. And he was saying to acquire this extra bit of land that he's bought here. Yeah. <laughs> 
He had to buy it off of three people, didn't he? It's very similar to the old feudal system that we had in the UK before the Industrial Revolution, when people had like long, thin patches of land that they were allowed to work on. Mm. Gosh, considering the clouds, it's mm. really hot. <laughs> 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 right, we want to talk about the Plitvik Lakes because I know a few of you have been in the comments on our social media saying we should go to the Plitvik Lakes. We've been there twice already, didn't we? We went in 2015, we went, yeah. when the boys were really, really small. That was the first time we went, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Get there early. Get there very early, because it gets so, so busy there. Yeah, there are a few little campsites nearby, and it's worth getting onto one of those, and then you can get there and get a head start the next morning. Right. And we also went again in 2018 when my niece was over from Australia and she came on our European road trip with us and we said, We've, you've got to see the Plitvik Lake. So we took her there then as well, didn't we? And it is beautiful, but I'm, I'm just not sure the boys this time fancied it. No. No, no we've done it than twice, that. so yeah, exactly. But we weren't going to miss out on this stop right here because this is a cracker. This was our favourite stop of 2015 and 2000. I oh, know we didn't stay in 15, it wasn't made there. We found this in 2018 and it was our favourite campsite of the whole trip. Right, we're walking down the lane and at the end of the lane is a coffee shop pub where we're hoping to have a little drink. We've got Grasvina, litre of. That's seven quid. And three Coca-Colas. For the boys. What was the total? 11, 11 to <laughs> Crazy. Nice and cheap. So we're sat here discussing Ezzy's exam results, which are due in the morning. We're not I'm worried. I'm excited. No, I'm excited for him. I think he's a little worried, though. Of course he is. That's a big I relief. I remember being in that position. I remember right. it. It's awful. <laughs> so there'll be a big relief in the morning when we get the results. Yeah. And we'll let you know. So this is an interesting take on the pub. This guy's been sitting here clearly all afternoon drinking and then they just jumped in the van to drive. So that was an interesting hour at the pub, wasn't it? There's <laughs> some interesting stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the axe, the guy in his tractor. That is a fast tractor. <laughs> How cool is that? You go easy on that guy. There they are, he lives, he lives. Oh, oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, be careful, be careful. <laughs> I've been drinking with the old fellas of the village. I secured his axe before he drove off. What a lovely guy. <laughs> and look how rustic this sign is. Isn't that cool? That is an awesome looking hand painted sign. Lindsay's just noticed the plums and there's loads on the floor. Are they, or are they slows? Do I try it? Do I just try it as it is? I'll try it. Don't swallow it. Just taste it. <laughs> <laughs> you can spit. Don't swallow. <laughs> They're plums. Mm. Really? Mm. Are they? Wow. Are they poisonous plums or are they? <laughs> Check back with me in four hours. <laughs> mm. Nice plums, though. Mm, nice plums. Hey guys, don't touch the fence. Eddie touched that earlier and he got a shock, so leave the fence alone. Last time we were here, we were here with our niece from Australia, Regan, and she fell in love with the cows that were in this field, but now it's horses, so I think she'd love them even more. And here we are, a few hundred metres, and we're back to the campsite. Mm -hmm. It is the perfect location for a stop off, a, a rest, and then a head into Zagreb and back. So the kids have been feeding the cat. There he is. <laughs> and that's why he's a great manager. <laughs> it's all gone now. It's all gone now. Gorgeous cat. Dinner was lovely, my love, thank you. Good. My pleasure. <laughs> Not sure this camera is going to do it justice, but look at the little twinkly lights on the trees. And of course, the pool's all lit up as well. And the little lights in this little communal area. This place is beautiful, guys. Beautiful. All right, my love. I am. How are you? Good. You got your friend here. I have. How did he get on with his grades? Did he pass? He did. He did really well. Eddie passed, and he is getting into the school he wants with all the subjects he wanted, right? Yes, absolutely. 
Okay, a few of you have asked on social media about our hammocks. What I recommend doing is getting um, this one from Amazon that we got. Um, and it's got these carabiners on it as well. You're also going to want to get yourself a set of these hammock straps um, to put around the trees. And then if the trees are much further apart, it's easy to mount them. So I'm going to put links in the description for the hammock and the hammock straps if you guys are interested in getting the same one. As I pack up the outside, Lindsay does the inside. <laughs> yes. And I should, I should do a uh, time-lapse of you doing the uh, inside, love. I only did the outside one. No, because people don't know I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I could beep it out. <laughs> All so, the yeah. dogs in the neighbourhood be going, oh, it hurts my ears. So putting it back into travel mode, I'm not sure if I've shown you that. We've got one seat over here and there's two seats over here. A few things. So George has got his iPad on there. Harry's got a mount down here for his iPad. And Eddie has his laptop on the table. Anything else to show? Only you getting in my way every time I turn around. <laughs> Get out my van. Okay. So sometimes the boys will help pack up, but sometimes it's just easy to get them out of the way. George is in the pool right now, having a final dip, and the other two are having showers. <laughs> just leaves the pegs and I'm not sure if I've shown you the pegs that we use but I'm a lazy man when it comes to pegging this down we use the screw pegs and I use my little drill gun here what yeah, that's a great deal easier than trying to hammer in normal pegs especially in some of the grounds in Croatia and some of the countries where it's like really really hard so we'll put a link in the video description to our website where we've got a list of many of the accessories that we use on our motorhome so go check that out right guys I hope we've been able to do this video justice and share how amazing this place is because it is it's one of our favorite campsites in Europe yes we don't need all singing, all dancing, bells and whistles. What we like is somewhere small and peaceful and with a pool, a pool. <laughs> and, and good hosts. <laughs> so that's what they are. Absolutely. Hope you've been following along. Don't forget to check out this playlist here for all the other videos in the series. And, and <laughs> if you're not already subscribed and you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, use this button here.